Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. And today I'm going to be showing you the best way you can improve upon your lap times really without even having to think about it too much. So without any further ado, let's get stuck into the video because this one is sort of a trick that we used to use back in the day on Gran Turismo, but I'm bringing it to ACC and it can definitely help you improve your lap times. So let's go. So guys, let's say you've got the perfect setup already. You, you feel good with your setup that you've got. Um, but you're just sort of hitting the ceiling with your lap times, feeling like you can't improve. And um, as you can see here, I've just done a quick lap in hot lap in the Lamborghini around Catalonia. Now, what I'm going to get you guys to do is I'm going to get you guys to focus on your lap, but only sector by sector. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind the first sector and then, you know, relax around the rest of the lap, come across the line, then check the sector times to see what we're doing in that first sector where we're going to push. Don't invalidate the lap because you're going to need to see your, your lap time at the end. Well, you're going to need to see your sector time at the end. And we're going to keep on focusing on, on the first sector until we feel like we've got to a point where it can't be improved upon anymore. If you want a good um, barometer to what sector times you should be doing, you can go on the AOR website, go on to the hot lap servers, click on the current patch that we're on, and then you can see all the fastest times that's been done on that particular patch. And that will give you sort of, uh, you know, a sort of guide to how fast people are going in each sector, which is kind of how you want to um, base your speed off of that. If you know you're roughly maybe, I don't know, seven, eight tenths off of the fastest guys, then you sort of want to, you know, align that with your sector time. So maybe you'll be one or two tenths slower than them in the first sector, two or three tenths in the middle, two tenths in the last. And that way you can, you know, gauge where you should be. But the more you focus on your particular sector and improve it and master it in the end once you've mastered each sector obviously by the end of the lap you're going to be going faster and that's pretty much um my plan and how you can effectively improve your laps we used to do it back in the day on Gran Turismo when you used to go through the licenses and you'd have to do a certain section of the track and to get the gold um the gold trophy you'd have to do like maybe two or three corners and then you do it so much you end up mastering it and then by the end you know you'd be super quick around the track and that's basically what we're going to do here so let me try and focus on a first sector and see what i can come with at the, at the moment i've got a 29295 so i'm going to keep pushing just through that first sector and see where um where i can get it to So now you see we've done a couple of um, first sector runs and you can see we've overall managed to improve by over a tenth. Um, I would ideally do much more laps than this or much more sector times as this just to really lock in that sector time. But in the interest of time and for this video, I'm just going to try and get it done as quick as possible. So now we can sort of move on to the first sector and the middle sector, try and combine them together, try and improve our middle. Um, if you want to break it down even more, you can literally just you know, relax in the first sector and pretty much push only through the middle. If you want to do it that way, me, I feel like I've got the first sector down now. So I'm going to try and do the first sector and now try and improve with the middle sector as well and put those two sectors together. So I've done, I'll be doing the majority of the lap time and um, 
then after that i can get to like focus on the last sector sometimes especially with the last sector around catalonia it may be better to just to focus on that sector by itself because it, it you can lose so much lap time and in you know in an actual lap i do believe the last sector is actually my weakest sector so it'll be interesting to see how much i can improve upon that if you're wondering where the sectors are if you go to the um the menu you can actually see where each sector begins and where the other one ends so this pretty much is all of the first sector then you've got from here which is just by the bridge before turn five i believe and um all the way until you get to the back straight just as you get towards the other little bridge before the tight left hander so that is all of the middle sector so our middle sector is a 39.9 so we're going to try and improve on that give that a couple of runs and see how fast we can actually go So now we can come back and have a look at the sector times again. And we can see we, we still haven't quite managed to put our best sectors together, but we have improved upon each sector. And um, pretty much, you know, it's all about trying to get them together now. But I can I can definitely feel I can do the first sector without a doubt easily faster than what I did before, or at least close to my fastest. And that's what it's all about. It's about making them steady improvements. And once you, you know the line, that you're supposed to take it's pretty easy to keep on hitting it again and again and again so we're sort of like within a tenth of our best middle sector within within a tenth of our best first sector so now it's all about the last um as i said before ideally i would do the last by itself i wouldn't push through the first two sectors and i would just try and nail the last just to see what what lines i'm doing sort of wrong and why i'm always so slow in the last sector and hopefully we can find maybe a different line maybe short shift through a corner or something and then we're just going to put the lap together and see what we can come up with So as you can see, we actually kept messing up the last sector. So in my mind, I'm thinking even though the setup feels good around 90% of the lap, in the last sector, there is definitely something up with the setup. So this maybe even can allow you to sort of tweak your setup in the smallest areas just to get that last bit of time. I believe for me, the Lambo in the last sector at the moment is still a little tail happy, which is not allowing me to get on the power as soon as I want, because those are all the corners pretty much on the track. Where you need the traction and you don't want the car to slide at all because it's just going to cost you time 
So I believe if I can tweak a few things in the setup, try not to unbalance the car in the other sectors, then I should gain quite a bit in the last sector. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to try and push for the full lap and see what sector times we can get. So we managed to get a lap time in the end and we we pretty much matched the, the fastest middle sector we did. We improved upon the last sector and we pretty much matched the fastest first sector that we did. And in the end, we did improve by quite a bit. Now, my first lap might not have been the greatest, but after I had already done a certain amount of sector ones, a certain amount of sector twos, and really knowing where I was weak in sector three, it became easy to find where I would find the time. And that's basically what it is. A lot of the time when you're doing laps and you want to improve, you just have to know where the particular corner that you're losing the time. Now, I could tell in the last sector that I was sliding a little bit. Even on that lap, I still slid out of um, the the corner after the, the tight hairpin. I still was a little bit of sliding on that corner exit and it did cost me a little bit of time, but I identified where the time was and then basically pull it right, tweak the setup a little bit, just to give me a little bit more confidence through that sector and before you know it you end up improving by a good you know half a second and that's pretty much what it is just identify where you're weak keep on working on those areas and by the end you definitely will improve your lap times but i hope, hope this video did help you guys cryptic tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace